Hello, and welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Dave Carger. It's great to have you with me tonight as we continue to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day with a lineup of films that helped break the walls of intolerance on the screen. And not just the big screen, as you're about to see with the drama we have next, which originally aired on CBS. Produced by Tomorrow Entertainment in 1974 and starring Cicely Tyson, our beloved friend here at TCM who passed away two years ago this month, it's the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. Tyson won two Emmy Awards for her performance in the title role as a black woman in the South, born into slavery in the 1850s, who lives to see the civil rights movement of the 1960s. She also has the honor of taking part in the movement after a young girl in her Louisiana town is arrested for attempting to drink from a segregated water fountain. Adapted from Ernest Gaines's 1971 novel, the narrative is framed so that we're introduced to Tyson's character on her 110th birthday, the day before the fountain incident prompts her to grant an interview to a persistent journalist. As that interview unfolds, flashbacks follow Jane from her childhood as a plantation slave to her emancipation just after the Civil War, then through the Reconstruction and Jim Crow eras before circling back to the present day, over a century's worth of the black experience through the eyes of one woman. The synopsis likely has you wondering how Cicely Tyson, who was 50 at the time, managed to portray Pittman from her 20s to 110. The aging process was achieved through a revolutionary mix of makeup and prosthetics created by special effects artists Stan Winston and Rick Baker, who won an Emmy for their efforts. I had the pleasure of introducing this film with Cicely Tyson on the 2019 TCM Classic Cruise, and it's an experience that I will always cherish from 1974, directed by John Cordy, with a screenplay by Tracy Keenan Wynn. Here is the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. After writing the now classic novel, The Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, which was published in 1971, Ernest Gaines was often asked whether his story was fiction or nonfiction, since it had such an authentic quality. Gaines assured readers it was fiction but he certainly did his due diligence when it came to researching the eras represented while giving his main character's narrative plenty of historic context. Gaines later shared how he read interviews with former slaves that had been conducted by the WPA in the 1930s. I got their rhythm and how they said certain things, he recalled, but I never interviewed anybody. Instead, the passion evident in his writing was inspired by his family history, dating back five generations in Louisiana, along with memories of his strong-willed great-aunt, Augustine Jefferson, to whom his novel was dedicated. Coming up, Sidney Poitier symbolizes nobility and self-respect in a drama from 1967.